awesome animals. The American Staffordshire Terrier's roots can be traced back to the 18th and 19th century in England. The Bulldogs and Terriers of the time were commonly used as inhuman blood sports, and they were bred for desirable traits including their muscular build, energy, stamina, confidence, and agility. In the United States, the American Staffordshire Terrier was bred for a stable temperament and adapted for hunting rodents and other vermin, and game for farmers, taking advantage of the breed's strength and courage. Over time, larger dogs became the norm. The American Staffordshire Terrier is a loving, loyal, playful dog that loves to spend time with human family members. They are quite muscular for their size, which can make them a handful and walk if they aren't trained properly. They also have strong jaws, which they will use to chew out of boredom. Staffordshire Terriers are a compact, stockily built, small to medium sized breed of dog with a muscular appearance. Fully grown males typically weigh 13 to 17 kilograms and measure around 36 to 41 centimeter to the withers. Females weigh about 11 to 15.4 kilograms and measure around 33 to 38 centimeters to the withers. This breed, which has an average lifespan of 12 to 14 years, is prone to minor health problems, such as albal dysplasia, hypothyroidism, and heart disease, and major elements like progressive retinal atrophy, canine hip dysplasia, and carabular ataxia. In 2018, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals campaigned to have the Staffordshire Bull Terrier added to the list of restricted dog breeds. The Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, the Kennel Club, the Dogs Trust, the Blue Cross, and the Bad RC Dogs and Cats Home all objected to the proposal, which was promptly rejected. These dogs have impeccable breeding, and they've been bred for several generations. As such, only the best dogs were bred from the very early stages, because one of the positive praise breeders wanted them to have was a relative lack of fear. Most Staffordshire Bull Terriers are still not a breed of very much to this day. In fact, it's a relatively rare occasion that you ever see a dog of this particular breed that seems to be scared of anything. Where most dogs are bothered by certain sounds, strangers, or a whole host of other issues, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier seems to take it all in stride without having a desire to run away or otherwise become upset, especially due to fear. One of the things that makes these dogs so good at virtually everything they do is their muscle tone. They're among some of the most muscular dogs in existence. This was another thing that the dog was bred for and current breeders continue to look for the trait in their dogs. Some people even consider the Staffordshire Bull Terrier to be somewhat muscle bound. In reality, the more muscular examples of the breed can sometimes look like a bodybuilder on four legs. With that being said, they're extremely strong as their entire body is typically composed of muscle with very little body fat whatsoever. You have to admit, Staffordshire Bull Terrier is not exactly a name that rolls off the tongue with relative ease. This seems to be an opinion that is shared by most individuals because it didn't take very long for those dogs to gain the nickname Staffy. Apparently, people got tired of trying to say the entire proper name of the breed. Because of that fact, and the fact that there are so many other individual breeds of Bull Terriers, it was necessary to come up with a unique nickname and this one apparently seemed to fit best. Most people have a tendency to take one look at these dogs and mistake them for pit bulls. It's relatively easy to understand why as the two breeds have a lot of physical characteristics in common. In fact, these dogs look extremely similar to the American Pit Bull. The only real difference in their physical appearance is that they are sometimes a little shorter. In reality, the two dogs are completely separate breeds that are different in many ways. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier has a different temperament than the American Pit Bull, and the two even have different ways to metabolize food. Aside from their similar looks, they don't really have as much in common as most people likely think. This is where things can get really confusing for someone, especially when this breed is confused with the American Pitbull, which has gained a rather bad reputation without deserving it. One of the biggest differences between these two breeds of dogs is in their demeanor. It's important to get one thing clear, and that is that the American Pitbull is not a vicious dog. Vicious dogs are more often than not made, not born. If a dog is vicious, it is likely the result of improper breeding, improper training, or complete lack thereof, and in some cases, abuse. However, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier is extremely calm by nature. Many people say this of the pit bull as well, especially those that are really familiar with this breed of dog. With that being said, the Staffy has a tendency to be so calm that it even makes the pit bull look neurotic. It's easily one of the calmest breeds of dog you could ever own and it doesn't have a tendency to get excited about much of anything. By all accounts, these dogs just seem to know what to do and when to do it. This is a breed of dog that really enjoys having something to do. In this particular way, they're similar to German Shepherds or Border Collies. 
They need a regular job, something that they believe you depend on them to do. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. See you guys next time. Goodbye!